guys, welcome to the DMX Show, I'm your host Shane. I, today I wanted to show you guys that the Cyanogen Mod 7 has officially been ported uh, to our Droid Bionic. This is still the very early version, it is alpha, it's not even beta yet, so there are some things that don't work like 3G and 4G, uh, just to name a few. It has all of your customization features of Cyanogen Mod 7. One thing that Rev Numbers, the guy who is updating the Cyanogen Mod 7 for the Bionic, did release the other day, he released a version which has the 1X internet working. So still no 3G, no 4G. All your calls will work. Your text messaging should work. And there are several other things. All of your Cyanogen Mod 7 customization things will work. This is not a daily driver yet. But I will keep the link in the description updated with all the updates that come out for this device. So as soon as it is a daily driver ROM for your Droid Bionic, you will know. So what we're going to do real quick is jump into some of the Cyanogen Mod features, and then I'm going to show you how to install it. This is different from most of the installations that I've shown you on the Bionic, as you must install it via the Safe Strap method. Some of you guys may have already checked out the Safe Strap. It is basically the Bionic Bootstrap alternative, and it allows you to dual boot. Uh, I'm sorry, dual boot two ROMs at the same time, so you can run what they call an unsafe ROM, which would be your main ROM for your phone and then you run a secondary ROM that's your safe ROM and that could be you know Cyanogen Mod 7 or any other ROM that you would dual boot into. So for now let's jump into the ROM review. You see that let's see even on the lock screen there it's not complete the thing sh the rotary should go all the way over but you do have that custom lock screen and it does come with the wallpapers for Cyanogen Mod so those are there. It comes with the boot animation, which I'll show you guys at the very end after we get done with the installation. Um, let's see here. It comes with Launcher Pro, which is very quick and even customizable. Let's see. It comes with the theme chooser, so you can apply themes on the fly, which is pretty cool. And... It does come with the Cyanogen Mod settings. Most of you guys are familiar with Cyanogen Mod, so I really didn't want to uh, really dive into Cyanogen Mod today because you guys are pretty familiar. We'll run through the Cyanogen Mod 7, 7 settings. This is where you can do all of your customization. I uh, see so you have like applications. Uh, you can change some settings there. Your display has like your screen on and off animations and uh, your rotation. You can change that there. The input is like your keyboard input interface, uh, notification power widgets, and the status bar tweaks. You can change like your battery style. I like the percentage, but you can go just icon or hide it all together. So I'll stay with percentage. And the carrier label, you can make that compact. Render effect, you can apply that there as well. That's supposed to save some battery. I won't show you that now. Um, the interface is what we just looked at. Lock screen, they have a few options here. You go into style options and lock screen style. You can choose between sliding tab, rotary, rotary revamp, which was what I had, lens and ring. And performance, you can do your CPU settings there so you can underclock, overclock, whatever. Uh, in this menu as well as several other tweaks for performance. You can change all of your sound here and in your system and then there's tablet tweaks so a few things missing there uh, not everything is included in ADW Launcher you have uh, some more settings that you can change here Okay, I'm sorry, it comes with ADW Launcher, not Launcher Pro. So you can actually go into ADW Launcher and change some of the settings there, like your main dock style. I prefer five icons. Screen preferences. And desktop transition. You can change it to cube, which is what I prefer. And that changes the way that it has the transition there. So you can see all my icons had changed to the green whenever I apply that theme from Theme Chooser. You can go to the market and choose several other themes. There's 
tons to choose from. Uh, but that is CM7 in a nutshell. You have tons of customizing options in there and lots of performance tweaks and enhancements. Uh, CM7, when it's fully built here, uh, will make this thing really super fast. Also, some news for today. The ice cream sandwich source has been released, and the Cyanogenmod 7 team did say that as soon as it was released, they would begin to port it to Cyanogenmod 7. So we should actually be looking forward to CM7. 9 are coming to our bionic devices pretty soon. I've got a call here. I will dismiss it and continue with the video. So uh, we'll jump into the installation instructions. You'll need SafeStrap on your phone. Uh, before installing SafeStrap on your phone, make sure that you uninstall Bionic Bootstrap because it won't work with that on there. Uh, and then once you have SafeStrap installed, it'll be an icon in your app drawer. Click it and click install the custom recovery. Once that's installed, just power down your phone. Also, you see there's a reboot menu for CyanogenMod 7. So once you power down, now you'll power up. And you should have a splash screen. It'll stay there for 10 seconds. And once that comes up, you'll press menu to bring up the safe strap menu. Okay, so we'll press menu. And now we'll be in the safe strap recovery. Okay, so the first time that you boot into SafeStrap Recovery, it will say Safe System is Disabled. So to enable that, you'll need to go to Safe Boot Menu. Select that. And Toggle Safe System. I would go with the first Toggle Safe System because that will allow you to back up the ROM that you're currently on in case anything goes wrong. Um, so it's always a good idea to have backups. Or you could go Quick Toggle if you've already done it before and you already have a backup stored and it'll just easily toggle you. I'm already in the safe system so I'll go back. From there you will apply this ROM just like you would normally. Uh, you'll start out with a wipe data factory reset once you're in safe system. That'll be your secondary system. That's where you will install CyanogenMod 7. Select wipe data. Select yes. I won't now because I already have it installed. Then you'll select wipe cache partition. And yes wipe cache. I won't now because I already have it installed. Then you'll go down to Advanced and select Wipe Dalvik and go down to Yes, Wipe Dalvik. I won't do that now. And then you will go to Install Zip from SD Card. Choose Zip from SD Card. And depending on where you stored the ROM, I always keep it in the SD card internal under download. So I'll go to internal SD card and then I'll go to my download folder. That's where it saves if you download it directly to your phone. So that's normally where I keep my ROMs. And then you're looking for CM4DB Alpha. And you will select that. And then install. Go ahead and select that. Give it about two and a half to three minutes to install. Once it's finished, it'll say the install to SD card is complete. At that point, you'll go back and reboot the system now. And I should have enough time here to show you guys what it does. It'll show you that splash screen again. And if it installed correctly, it'll have like a little preview of the ROM that was installed, the CyanogenMod 7. So just allow it to get through the splash screen. And then it'll come up. It'll give you a little black screen for about five seconds. That's okay. It will boot up. Guys, thanks for watching uh, the DMX show. You can find more at droidmoderx.com. Also, you can subscribe to this channel. And be sure to follow me on Twitter for all the latest in ROMs, mods, and hacks. You can follow me at droidmoderx with an E, not a 3. Thanks, guys.